Oh, hello YouTube. On the bike. We're now into March. And uh, yeah, it's a nice day. A little bit chilly. But other than that, at least the sun's out. Mind you, we've had a lot of rain recently, a lot of wind. So as you can well imagine, the roads are gonna be covered in everything. Well, obviously I'm just having a little ride out today, as usual. Yeah, just a little ride out. I've got a couple of new little bits for the bike. Uh, and I'm testing the uh, cam. Well, uh, yeah, I'm testing the camera. Um, it's my old uh, Hero 5 session. Just testing it on my chest mount, um, along with a battery that I bought for it. To give it a bit of life. And we'll just see how that works out. I've actually got it in a waterproof housing at the moment as well. So I'll test that out, see whether it can wind up setting on fire with the heat or not. But, uh, it has another mount with it, which uh, allows you to ha have this battery connected at the same time, extending the, the battery life, as I say. So, apart from that, Everything's much the same, but as I say, I've got a couple of new bits for the bike that I want to show you guys. Um, so we'll head up to the airport and we'll show you those. Uh, that's a good... That's a good overtaking manoeuvre mate, right on the junction. What a planet. Not really any need for me to uh, overtake anybody, to be honest. Um, so I'll be turning off shortly. But yeah, what a nice day it is. So from the settings point of view, on the camera, uh, well all the cameras I'm running in 30, 30 frames per second. Um, they're all on automatic as well. Um, although I have put an ND filter on the, the Osmo Action, just to slow the shutter speed down on that. And I've altered the E-View compensator on the uh, GoPro so as it doesn't get too overexposed. So yeah, everything's on auto. It's good a way of doing it as any, I think. Especially when you're, you know, vlogging on the bike, like, and lighting conditions are changing all the time. I haven't been out to the airport for a while, um, although with the videos that I've done you'd think well the last time you were there but you know, this is where I usually do my filming when I'm showing you bits and pieces which was the last video I did I think. Anyway, so they've got a new aircraft in, they've managed to acquire, this is the um, Solway Aviation Museum that is, they've managed to acquire the um, a fairy gannet, which is, uh, although one of the ugliest airplanes ever built, is one of my favourite aircraft. I love the fairy gannet, and it's the anti-submarine one rather than the the AW one. Yeah, 
so I'm looking forward to seeing that because I haven't seen it yet so we might have a walk over and see it well hopefully we can get parked down by the Vulcan where I can show you these bits and pieces on the bike oh I'm loving this bike eh? I really am yeah so like I say I've made some cosmetic changes to the bike as well as useful, a useful change as well and uh, I guess uh, I'll show you them just as soon as we get parked up it been Thursday, there should be the odd aircraft taken off from uh, Carlisle Airport so hopefully we'll get some shots of that while we're here as well This hasn't got any better, has it? What a mess! What a mess! We'll park around the other side for a change. Well, there we go. All sorted. <laughs> it's a good sign. So, there's the changes. As you can see, I've got myself a tail tidy and it's the um, what they call it again I can't even remember what they call them uh, Evo Tech Performance that's it Evo Tech Performance 1 and it's uh, quite a neat job especially under there as you can see it's got a plastic cover over it you know which hides all the gubbins and that it looks very smart in my opinion uh, the number plate isn't looking so smart at the moment because I'm going to change it, uh, the number plate, because uh, I've got the old holes drilled in it and it looks kind of untidy, so I'm going to get a new one and then I'll snip these off once I've done that, uh, changed it over. And the other thing I got, again from Eva Tech Performance, I got the, uh, finally, got the uh, the radiator cover which again is quite a neat job as well uh, all easy to put on as well but, uh, I was a bit worried about the, uh, the the wiring for the for the wee light you know but uh, it comes with a loom which fits perfectly into the uh, into the other well into the the correct um, plug and uh, yeah absolutely no bother at all you know, no cutting wires or anything like that. So it's spot on from that respect. Yeah, well, she's looking all right, the old bicyclette. I've also ordered, and it's going to be about a month before they come, but I've also ordered a decal kit for it. I'm not going to say any more about that, and I'll show you it when I get it. So... Um, that's about it really so I'm going to as usual I'm going to have a tab and then I'll get back on the bike and we'll go for a, a quick ride somewhere can't really miss this weather really okay so see you shortly
Yeah, that was that. Yeah. So there's no more no planes coming in. I thought there was, but uh, just check the radar there and which has all the information for the airport on and what flights are coming in and stuff. And uh, the next one's here at uh, 17.45, which is knee good, of course. Let's see if we can have a look at this gannet. Or get a look at this gannet, at least. they've plonked it to, to be honest probably somewhere where you can't see it oh there she is she's looking a little rough mind needs a spot of paint uh, nice piece of uh, equipment on here isn't there jet provost gannet lightning percival sea prince Canberra, which is actually my favourite, and uh, there's a Phantom there, F4 Phantom, and you can't see it for this little building here, but there's also a, uh, what do they call it again? Oh god, Hunter, Hawker Hunter. Right. And a couple of other things, like there's a Sikorsky, uh, S55 there somewhere as well, or a whirlwind, something like that. I think it might be a whirlwind actually, but anyway. Plenty to see if you want to come to Solway Aviation Museum. And once again, that's at uh, Carlisle Lake District Airport. Definitely worth a look. Oh, go for a little ride. So yeah, so quite happy with the um, modifications that I've done so far. I don't think I'll be doing much more. I might put a pillion uh, blanking kit on it. But then again, you never know whether you're going to need to take a pillion at some point, you know what I mean? So. You know, if somebody breaks down or something like that, you know. So, I might just leave that. Not an expensive uh, item, and certainly not a hard job to do anyway. The person, all them. So, yeah. But as I say, I have got myself, or at least I've ordered myself, a decal kit. This is from some guys at uh, Hazelmere Motorcycles. And there you go. They weren't riding BMW GS's with her. It would explain the uh, lack of communication. So yeah, um, and it's from a French company, this is the uh, deco kit I'm on about, called AFX Factory, AFX Factory, something like that, but it looks quite smart, it really does, but I'm not going to say any more about it until I get it and get it installed, and uh, I'll let you have a look at it then. These roads are a bit minging. Not a great thing when you've got a note when you've got a tail tidy on the bike. I'll be back covered in mud, no doubt. Used to be a nice pub, that. Like a lot of country pubs, it's died a death.
uh, once again, still loving the bike. You know what though, I've been reading a lot in the, the press lately about Norton and its demise. That Garner bloke, <laughs> I'll tell you what. He wants a good chin in that guy, like, he's obviously a spoilt little brat. By all accounts. And I still haven't um, had my bike serviced, and I probably should have, because it's been over two months since I've uh, got it. And uh, on the service manual thing, it's um, was it 500 miles and or, or two months, something like that. So I'll have to get in for the service shortly. I'm on about 370 odd miles, I think. So yeah, it does need doing, like. So I'll have to get that in, and I can start revving it. Well. I won't start revving it until I've got 500 miles on it, like, but, uh, yeah. Ah, it's nice to be out in the sunshine, like I say, and you've probably, certainly if you've been in England, you've probably experienced worse weather than we've had here, but it's been constantly blown a hooli, just constantly. Still a little bit of wind about, but nothing like it's been. Not even close. There's trees over in the park. They've come down and yeah, right state. Road works, eh? And traffic lights. Do not have just been a quick, just that little bit quicker. Eh? The delight, say, eh? pain of my life, I'm telling you. So, anyway, there's not much to talk about, so I'll. Uh, sign off now and uh, hopefully see you all again and uh, remember to ride carefully guys eh? like I say we'll see you again next time cue the music <laughs>